Hi, once again I welcome you to my online lecture. I am Dr. Panduranga working as an assistant professor in the Department of Economics, VSK University, Bellar. Today I am pleased to have a class on Poverty Eradication and Employment Generation Programs in India. Dear friends, as we witnessing that the government has been striving a lot to eradicate the poverty and to create the employment opportunities since independence. The government has relied mainly on three approaches for the reduction of poverty. The first entails pursuit of higher economic growth which will improve the level of living of all the groups of people in the society including poor. The second involves direct anti-poverty programs and the third as a stressed uh, high priority to the government expenditure on social sector. After independence, the government has launched several poverty elevation programs. So uh, here uh, we would like to have a discussion on some of the important uh, poverty eradication and employment generation programs. So community development program. In fact, after soon independence, the government had launched first poverty eradication program. It is called as Community Development Program. The Community Development Program was started in 1952. It was multi-project program with the aim of an overall development uh, of the people. This program consisted of agriculture, animal husbandry, irrigation, cooperation and public health education, social education, communication, village industry. In fact, all these aspects of life related to 80% of India's work farming population. So there are officials for each activity at district level to plan, execute and evaluate the programs up to the village level. The community development is an exclusive term. Uh, it is uh, frequently used in campus any and every effort towards advancement of the community interest. The next uh, program which was launched by government of India in the year of 1971 it is called as small farmers development program. This small farmers development program was initially uh, launched in 1969 but it came into force in 1971. The RBI had appointed an All India Rural Credit Review Committee under the chairmanship of Venkatapaya. This committee recommended establishment of Small Farmers Development Agency. The core philosophy of Small Farmer Development Agency was to investigate and identify the problems of small farmers and ensure that various services reach to them. The second to ensure that the farmers secure loans from cooperative banks and third to ensure that the farmers have access to other assistance such as cooperative banks, improved seeds, fertilizers and other inputs. The next one of the uh, far most important program was launched in 1973-74 by government of India. It is called as Drought Prone Areas Program. This program was first launched by uh, government of India during 1973-74 to address special problems of drought prone areas based on the recommendation of Anmant Rao committee. The program has been under implementation on watershed basis since 1995. The allocation for the program is shared in the ratio of 75-25 between center and state. Main objectives of drought prone area program to minimize the adverse effects of drought on the production crops, livestock and productivity of land, 
water and humanity resources with the drought profiting techniques to promote the over economic development and improve the socio economic conditions of disadvantaged groups the next one of the important program it was launched by shrimati indira gandhi in the year of 1975 this program is 20 point program this 20 point program as i said to you it was launched by shrimati indira gandhi in 1975 was subsequently restructured in uh, 1982 and again in 1986 with the introduction of new economic policies and programs it has been finally restructured again in the year of 2006 it has been in operation at present also so what are the main objectives of this 20 point program the basic objectives of this program is to eradicate poverty and to improve the quality of life of the poor and under privileged groups the program covers various socio economic aspects like poverty employment education housing health agriculture land reforms irrigation drinking water protection and empowerment of weaker section and environment so as i said you this program was restructured in 2006 so these are the uh, 20 points of the 20 point programs in 2006 so as i said you the main focus was given on eradication of poverty uh, power to people support to farmers labor welfare food security clean drinking water housing for all health for all education for all welfare of sc st obc and minorities women welfare child welfare youth development improve uh, improvement of slums environment protection and forestation social security rural roads energizing of rural areas development of backward areas it enabled and e governance so the next uh, important program it is called as food for work program fwp this food for work program was introduced in 1977-78 by giving food grains instead of wages which later found revamping and restructuring at the present national food for work program with the changes introduced in 2001 for the most backward districts of india for generating supplementary and subsistence of lives the scheme was for manual unskilled labor implemented with assistance of the central government by supplying free food grains to the needy people the enactment of this scheme is done by the planning commission so now we had don't have planning commission it has been renamed as niti ayoga in consultancy with the ministry of rural development along with the state governments and initiated the task with 150 most backward district in the country but later on this program has been launched across the nation the next one uh, of the poverty eradication program is minimum needs program in fact the india is the first country to introduce uh, minimum needs program in the world for the first time this minimum needs program was introduced in the first year of the fifth fire plan i mean in 1974 the objective of the program is to establish a network basic services and facilities of social consumption in all the areas up to uh, nationally accepted norms within specific time of the frame the program is designed to assist in rising living standard and in uh, reducing the regional disparities in the development the next one more program which was launched in 1977 78 it is called as desert development program so this desert development program was launched uh, 
for hot desert areas of Rajasthan, Gujarat, Haryana and cold desert of uh, areas of Jammu, Kashmir and Himachala Pradesh. In the year of 1978, the Integrated Rural Development Program was launched by Government of India. So it is also called as IRDP. The implemented during 1980 Integrated Rural Development Program aims at providing assist and self-employment opportunities for the rural poor. Assistance under Integrated Rural Development Program is given to a target group of rural poor belonging to families below poverty line in the form of subsidies by the government and term credit by financial assist institutions. In 1979, one more program was launched in order to provide or in order to train up the rural youth it is called as trism training of rural youth for self employment trism was launched in 1979 as a separate national scheme for training a rural youth for self employment so main objectives of uh, trism to provide rural youth from families below the poverty line with the training and technical skills to enable them to take up self-employment in agriculture, industry, services and business activities. Training is pursued not only in terms of provisions of physical skills but also change in attitude, announcement of motivation and skills in human relations are also ought to be imparted. In 1980, the National Rural Employment Program was launched and became a regular plan program from April 1st of 1981. The program was expected to generate additional gainful employment in rural areas to extend of 300 to 400 million mandates per annum, create durable community assets and to improve nutritional status and living standards of the poor. In 1983, Rural Labor Employment Guarantee Program was launched by Prime Minister. The entire expenditure of this program was financed by central government while most of the objectives of these stipulations under this were similar to those of National Rural Employment Program. It was to be limited only to the landless with the guaranteed employment of 100 days. In 1985, a great program was launched in order to provide the housing facility for the people who didn't have sufficient housing. It is called as Indira Awaz Yojana. Indira Awaz Yojana is the biggest and most comprehensive rural housing program ever taken up in the country. It has its origin in the wage employment programs of National Rural Employment Program which began in 1980. The Rural Landless Employment Guarantee Program which was started in 1983 as construction of house was permitted under these programs. However, there were no common norms. It was in June 1985 that Indira Awaz Yojana was launched as sub-scheme of Rural Landless Employment Guarantee Program by earmarking a part of the fund for construction of houses for scheduled cost and scheduled tribes and freed bonded laborers. When Jawar Rozgar Yojana was launched in April 1985, 6% of the funds was allocated for housing for the SEST freed bonded laborers. In the year of 1989, the Integrated Watershed Development Program was launched under the sponsorship of National Water Wasteland Development Board of, for Development of Wasteland on uh, Watershed Basis. In 1989, Jawar Rozgar Yojana was launched. 
by merging two erstwhile wage employment program like national rural employment program and rural landless employment program the jawar rozgar yojana was started on 1st of april 1989 82 20 cost sharing basis between center and states the main objective of jawar rozgar yojana was to additional gainful employment for the unemployed and underemployed persons in rural areas the other objectives of this program creation of sustained employment by strengthening rural economic infrastructure and assets in favor of uh, indian rural population the people below the poverty line were the target group for this program the preference given to scheduled castes scheduled tribes and freed bonded laborers in the same year in the same year 1989 one more program was launched by government of india in order to provide housing facility for the urban mass it is called as nehru rozgar yojana so jawar rozgar yojana was meant for rural housing and nehru rozgar yojana was meant for urban housing in 1993 the prime minister rozgar yojana was announced on august 15 1993 a scheme for giving self employment to learned jobless youth in the country this program is to give self employed breaks to 1 million jobless educated adolescents in the country this scheme is known as prime minister rozgar yojana officially the scheme has been started on october 2 1993 in the country in 1993 one more program was launched by central government it is called as pradhan mantri grama sadak yojana the goal of this yojana was to provide roads to all villages with a population of 1000 person and above by 2003 with the population of 500 person and above by 2007 in 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 the hill states tribal and desert area villages with a population of 500 persons and above by 2003 in 1995 the prime minister integrated urban poverty eradication program was launched this program was launched in order to uh, provide the employment opportunities in the urban area in 1995 national social assistance program was launched which came into effect from 15th august 1995 represents a significant step towards the fulfillment of the directive principles in the article 41 of the constitution the program introduced national policy for social assistance for the poor In 1997, Swarna Jayanti Shahari Rozgar Yojana was launched by central government. So this uh, program aims to provide gainful employment to the urban unemployed and underemployed poor by encouraging them to step up self-employment venture. The government has launched this rationalized Swarna Jayanti Shahari Rozgar Yojana. to replace the three existing schemes of nehru rozgar yojana urban basic service for the poor and prime minister's integrated urban poverty eradication program in uh, one more program was launched in in uh, by the central government it is called as urban basic service for the poor the urban basic service program was implemented as a central sponsored scheme during the 8th fire plan with specific objectives of effective achievement of the social sector goals community organization mobilization and empowerment and convergence through sustainable support system in 1999 swarna jayanti gram swarajgar yojana was launched as a major program for self employment of the rural poor after restructuring 
then existing integrated rural development program and combining it with the other allied schemes like trism w uh, development of women child rural artisans and sitra supplied improved uh, tool rural kits and ganga kalyan yojana and million well schemes for effective implementation under single banner called swarna jayanti gram swarajgar yojana in 2000 the samagra awaz yojana was launched this is a comprehensive housing scheme with a view to ensure the integrated provisions of shelter sanitization and drinking water the basic objective of uh, samagra awaz yojana is to improve the quality of life of the people as well as overall habit in rural area the pradhan mantri gramodaya yojana was launched in 2000 2001 in order to achieve the objective of sustainable human development at the village level in 2000 antyodaya anna yojana was launched under the scheme 1 crore of the poorest of the poor the bpl families covered under the targeted pds are identified and 25 kg of food grains were made available to each eligible families at a highly subsidized rate rupees 2 kg for wheat rupees 3 kg for rice this quantity has been enhanced from 25 kg to 35 with effect from april 2002 in 2000 annapurna scheme was launched um, with effect of 1st april 2000 it aims at providing food security to meet the requirement of those senior citizens who thought eligible have remained uncovered under the national old age pension scheme in 2001 wambe scheme was introduced valmiki ambedkar awas yojana to improve the living conditions of the urban slums dwellers living below poverty line without adequate shelter the scheme has the objective of facilitating the construction and upgradation of dwelling units for the slum dwellers in 2001 sampurna gramina rozgar yojana was launched by merging the erstwhile scheme of jawar grama samriddhi yojana and employment assurance scheme the objective is to provide additional wage employment in the rural areas and food securities in 2006 a milestone was landmarked by the central government by introducing national rural employment guarantee act so this act has been uh, enacted in the year of 2005 but it came into force in the year of 2006 the narega has been renamed as mgnrega in the year of 2009 october 2nd to celebrate the birth anniversary of mahatma gandhi ji mahatma gandhi national rural guarantee act this act is there to provide 100 days works to the unskilled laborers who are working in the rural area even this is one of the biggest employment generation program in the world in 2008 prime minister employment generation program was announced by prime minister in his address from the red port this is credit linked scheme formed by merging erstwhile regp and pmry scheme in 2009 the integrated watershed management program was launched in the three watershed program of the development of land resources namely drought prone area program desert development program and integrated watershed development program have been consolidated as com- has comprehensive program named integrated watershed management program so here we will understand which program was merged into which program so national food for work program was merged with national rural employment guarantee act 
or it is also called as Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Guarantee Act. Sampurna Gramina Rojgar Yojana merged with National Rural Employment Guarantee Act. Intensified Jawar Rozgar Yojana in 1993 was merged with Employment Assurance Scheme in 1996 which was later merged with Sampurna Gramina Rozgar Yojana in 2001. IRDP Trisum DWCRA Million Well Schemes SITRA and Ganga Kalani Yojana merged with the Swarna Jayanti Grama Swarajgar Yojana. Rural Landless Employment Guarantee Program merged with Jawar Rozgar Yojana which was replaced by Jawar Grama Samriddhi Yojana and Jawar Grama Samriddhi Yojana was merged with Sampurna Grama Samriddhi Yojana. So this is all about the em Employment Generation and Poverty Eradication Programs in India. So thank you so much for watching this video.